Shalom. With so much construction going on here in our Kadima project and so many advancements being made from one week to the next, you might be wondering why am I standing in front of a blank wall? I'm standing in front of this wall that has been completed. You can see the, the drywall that's gone up there is because behind me, this is the wall where our memorial wall will be. This is where the names of uh, individuals who have died, uh, whose names are often recited at the end of the service for, for uh, both at Yisker and then before we say Kaddish. Um, these are where those names will be. Individuals who have contributed to the synagogue so that their loved ones' names might be read in perpetuity will be up here. It's actually going to be, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful features of this entire building project where the, the names will be set up in such a way that they'll be viewed and a, a small piece of, of uh, reflective glass will go in, like a mirror, so the light will come down from above and will reflect up on the, onto the name to illuminate it. It's a beautiful, beautiful feature of this whole new project that we have. And the reason I'm standing here this week is that while we are in this period between Passover and Shavuot, that seven-week period where we count the Omer, and I spoke uh, last week about making our days count during this period of time. This is also a period of time where there are a number of, of well-known uh, holidays that have been created in the modern era. I'm thinking in particular of Yom HaShoah, Holocaust Memorial Day, Yom HaZikaron, Israel's Memorial Day, and Yom HaAtzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day. Yom HaShoah, of course, commemorates the six million Jews who were murdered during the Shoah, who lost their lives for the only reason is because they were Jews. Yom HaZikaron, Israel's Memorial Day, allows us to think about uh, Israel's soldiers who fell in battle in service to our Jewish homeland. And then Yom HaAtzma'ut, this year celebrating 70 years of Israel's independence since the state was founded in 1948, reminds us that Israel is our homeland that wherever we go in the world, we can always face Jerusalem and feel a connection. And I share this with you because there are always a number of communal, uh, co communal opportunities to come together to both remember and to celebrate. Uh, this Wednesday night at the JCC in Harrison, we will be having our annual communal Yom HaShoah service where we come together with four congregations, us, KTI, JCC of Harrison, and Congregation Emmanuel to commemorate. The next day on Thursday, there is a Westchester commemoration where I will be reading the Kaddish as the incoming president of the Westchester Board of Rabbis. That's from noon till one at the Holocaust Memorial in White Plains. And then on Sunday uh, at Solomon Schechter School in Hartsdale, there is a wonderful community-wide celebration of Israel at 70. I encourage you to come and spend at least just part of the day there celebrating Israel. Of course, thinking way ahead on the 20th of April as part of our Cell Hubert uh, Memorial Service. Cell was a, a beloved past president of this congregation. There'll be a, a wonderful event to come and connect directly with somebody who is a survivor and to, and to hear their story. So lots of ways to continue to make our, way, our days count, um, to memorial, memorialize and to celebrate the lives of those who have gone before us. Uh, of course, services always take place at 6.30 at the Chapel Rye Presbyterian Church and the next morning at 8.45. Wishing you then an early Shabbat Shalom and may the memories of all of those who have come before us truly be a blessing.